Hello students, today we are continuing with 11.2 and we're going to be looking at muscles. So let's start with the essential understanding, which says that movement of the body requires muscles to work in antagonistic pairs. So we're going to be looking at um, an example today of antagonistic pairs of muscles. So let's remember that muscles connect to bones via the tendons and they contract to provide the force required to produce movement. So the muscle is going to connect to a static bone, this is called the point of origin, and to a moving bone, which is the point of in insertion. Skeletal muscles exist in antagonistic pairs. So remember, these are skeletal muscles, muscles that connect to bones. So when one contracts, the other one relaxes, and that's what's going to enable opposing movements. So what are these opposing movements? So when you think of your bicep, when you flex your bicep, when you flex your arm, that's called flexion. And then when you extend your arm, then um, your bicep relaxes and your, um, and your tricep contracts, which is opposite. If you think of um, raising your arm all the way up above your head, that's called abduction. If you bring it down um, to the side of your body, that's called adduction. So opposite um, muscles are working there as well. Or if you think of protraction, which is, um, for example, throwing a baseball, that's protraction. And retraction is um, moving your arm backwards um, sort of like um, getting ready to throw a ball, sort of like catching impulse so that you can then throw the ball. So that would be protraction and retraction. So the um, application for this is the antagonistic muscle muscles in the um, insect leg. So they want you to pay attention to the insect leg and how they work. So you can look at a grasshopper, you can look at a praying mantis, and you can look at their hind legs, which are specialized for jumping, and you can see how they have these antagonistic pairs of muscles. So let's look at the anatomy here of, of a grasshopper. Okay. Um, so here we see, let me move it up a little bit more. All right, here we see the, um, the leg of a grasshopper, and we know that grasshoppers have an exoskeleton and we know that the leg is divided into three parts. So we have the femur, which is this part right here, which is the upper leg. And then we have the tibia, which is the middle leg right here. And then we have the um, tarsus, which is this part right here, which is the um, um, lower leg. Um, the femur and the tibia are connected by two antagonistic muscles. And these are called the flexor tibia muscle and it's shown here in blue, and the extensor tibia muscle, and that's shown here in green. So that's what connects the femur to the tibia of this insect. So that's a little bit of the anatomy. So how do these muscles um, work? So, um, let me up green a little bit. All right, so when the flexor muscle contracts, that means that the extensor muscle is going to relax and the tibia and the femur are, are brought closer together. So we think of that as the tibia flexing. This retracts the hind leg and the grasshopper is getting ready to push off the ground. When the extensor muscle contracts right here, the flexor muscle relaxes and you can see that the tibia extends and is pushed farther away from the femur. So this extends the hind quarters and is going to allow the insect to jump. So that's how antagonistic muscles work in an insect. One relaxes while the other one contracts. So you can see this beautiful uh, praying mantis um, in action here as it jumps and it's quite beautiful.
you can see, they don't always get it right. Alright guys, so I hope you enjoyed that little video there.